Yes. I like the diversity. I mean, you know, you've got people that live here. You've got the, the college students um, here for you know the most part of the year. Um, there's a, I mean, so I like I like that part. I like being close to things. I mean, we can walk to you know the Colonial for breakfast. You know, we can walk through the college and exercise, mm -hmm. and the rail trails right here. Uh, on a nice summer day, we've walked downtown. You know, it's a 20 minute walk. Uh, you know, take the rail trail. Which I, so we love all that those parts. Now there's some challenges as well. I mean, that's part of the reason why we're here is to sort of uh, help navigate some of those things. But okay. Um, and we've had a lot of challenges. You know, with zoning. Uh, the zoning has changed significantly since we moved here. This was all residential uh, zoning up until 2009 or 2010, I think it was. Oh, okay. So now it's, I think they call it MUI, Mixed Use Institutional. Okay. And I think the college played a big part in that happening because yeah. certainly, I mean, they made a significant investment in this block next door and they would not have done that if, uh, you know, they didn't have the opportunity to put something there that was going to be beneficial to them. He had done a lot of work to it. Uh, prior to uh, him buying it, uh, there were college students that lived here. And so it had um, seen its, its share of wear and tear <laughs> yeah. over the years. Um, so Mike Johnson did quite a bit of work um, renovating, and then we sort of just built upon it. It's, it's, it's more maintenance than anything. I wouldn't say that we've uh, done a lot of major structural improvements or anything like that, but Okay. It's a lot of maintenance. The college is really uh, a pretty good neighbor, all things considered. Mm -hmm. um, my one pet peeve, and I'll just take an opportunity to say it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the trash is a problem. I okay. mean, it's a huge problem. And, we, you know, a number of years ago, we had the Neighborhood Association uh, in a more active state. And, you know, there was talk of being able to take the trash from the street and move it to the alley. Mm -hmm. And I think that would make a huge difference because you drive up and down Jackson Street, even with the improvements. I mean, we've got new lighting, we have new sidewalks and trees. It's a huge improvement over what it was. But you drive through there and there's just trash everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's like if you could clean that up, I think it would, you know, change the perception a little bit about yeah. uh, what people think of the neighborhood. And, and it seems like that'd be an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I go out here at least once a week uh, and, you know, pick up the stuff there this morning, <laughs> um, you know, picking up trash and trying to make it, you know, a better place to, to be. Mm -hmm. And I think if more people did that, it would be, um, you know, be better. Yeah. I don't know. We always say we're here to we're not here. I mean, we don't have any plans to yeah. leave. Um, but certainly the neighborhood is, is changing all the time. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't exactly buy the house at a great time in the market. You know, 2006, 2007 was a, sort of the height before the, the drop. Right. And so, you know, there were some challenges in that regard in terms of, you know, the, the cost and being able to sell. And, and of course, the tax situation in the city uh, is a huge hindrance in, in, you know, being able to, to market a house uh, anywhere in the city, not just in this neighborhood. Yeah. So we're hoping that uh, Governor Wolf's uh, tax plan uh, is well received because that would be a game changer, not only for us, I think, but for everybody in the city, especially in the city.